Peter Schmitz and the high-speed camera test may reveal the answer to this mystery. As a crew member shakes the bushes and lawn to get more bugs moving through the field of view, rods suddenly appear on the standard camera. They had been hiding in the foliage. This camera expert has caught a rod simultaneously on both a high-speed and standard speed camera. As a crew member stirs the surrounding foliage, rods appear, first as just a streak. But when moving closer to the camera and the light source, the image takes on a more rod-like form. The high-speed camera has been rolling as well, at 1,000 frames per second, compared to the 30 frames per second camera. The source is revealed, a moth. By having the split-second clock readout in both camera views, you can match the exact object in both cameras. We did capture a few images that were very telling. Uh, images that appeared to be rods, but when we looked at them more closely with the high-speed video, determined they were nothing more than a bug flying through our field of view. In this series of digital still photos shot by Anders Jalovic in Malmo, Sweden, a rod swoops down to the water. As he increases the shutter speed during successive exposures, the rod clearly is seen as a seagull. But when he decreases the shutter speed, it becomes a rod again. That could explain this image shot by NASA in 1994. The rod image is likely just space debris. And this video... That, uh, pictures don't lie or cameras don't lie. And, and that, that, that's not necessarily true. They, they, they do the best they can to tell the truth. Mike Bergeron is an engineer with Panasonic Broadcasting, a company that manufactures cameras. But if rods are all known objects distorted by the camera, why are they not seen all the time? A camera can be fooled just as your eyes can be fooled. Um, different things might fool the camera that wouldn't fool your eyes if you were there. Um, and a, a camera, especially a modern digital camera, um, it makes assumptions about what it thinks pictures ought to do in a normal situation. Now, occasionally it guesses wrong and it creates things that aren't there. And what about the Mexican K video? where birds, bugs, and rods are all seen in the same field of view at the same time. The moving objects that are most likely to cause uh, a, a double image artifact or a motion blur artifact are the objects that are moving the fastest from the camera's point of view. The things that will appear to be moving the fastest from the camera's perspective are things right in front of it. So they don't have to be going that fast to be going very fast as far as the imager is concerned. If they're moving fast enough, they can get a motion blur where they are in many places at once in the course of one exposure. The reason rods are only found occasionally is because you need just the right mix of object speed, distance from the camera, shutter speed, and light.